Hi everyone, Mr. Arna here doing some Eureka math with you. Pages, let's see what we got. 49 and 50. All right, I'm doing it in a marker. You guys are hopefully doing it with pencil and an eraser. Let's start by writing my name up here. Mr. Arna, which is purple today. And today is going to be the 25th in the year 2021. Let's take a look what we're doing here. It says use the five card, <laughs> use the five group cards to count on to find the missing number in the number sentences. So we go one, two, and we see one, two, and we're trying to get to seven. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness, so that would make one, two, three, four, five. Count those little ones and you put that number in there. Bingo, here we go. Eight equals five plus, oh my goodness, so they already have to give us the answer over there on the left side, so the right side. So let's see, we have five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we keep it eight. That was five, six, seven, eight. And there we go, one, two, three. Stick those in there, and we know that three plus five, three plus five equals eight. I think you get the rhythm here. I'm trying to get to nine, and we have seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that makes two. I put a little number there. Oh, it could take lots of little notes. I should have done that earlier, maybe. All right, we got one more. Nine equals something plus nine. Wait a second. I know that one. 9 equals 9 plus 0. We don't even have to put any in there. It's a 0. All right. Let's do the next page. Now, the next page says match the number sentence to the math story. Oh, I see. We have some number sentences over here. Oh, they gave us one, two, three sentences, but only two math stories. So one of these is not the right answer. Two of them are. Draw a picture or use your five group cards to solve. All right, that's the way of saying, take some notes here, write some write some stuff. So it says Scott has three cookies. We'll start there, Scott has three cookies. One, two, three, three little pictures. And his mom gives him some more. And now he has eight. How many cookies did his mom give him? Okay, so I'm so circling three, and we get to eight. So we say, oh, so we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Now let's see what that makes. Us. We have one, two, three over here. Let's put a three. One, two, three, four, five. I'll put a five over there. Scott's mom gave him five cookies. I'm glad I took those notes. I didn't even have to think. And now we see three and five. Do we see a three and a four? Was he a three? Something like eight. There's the eight. This is it. Beep. Draw a little arrow right in there. All right, let's see the other one. Kim sees six birds in the tree. Some more birds fly in. Kim sees nine birds in the tree. How many birds flew to the tree? All right, we're going to do a little circling here and circling here so I don't have to look all over six. So six birds. I'll just, let me just do dots again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven, eight, nine showed up. Oh, my goodness. So there's the six. And then seven, eight, nine got us to nine. So that was a nine, but it's actually, we have three. I just put the nine there to keep my notes. So six and three make nine. Nine birds flew to the tree. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. Wrong answer. How many birds flew to the tree? Three. There were already six, and then we added three more. So you got to double check. I make mistakes too. So now we're looking for a number sentence up here with a six and a three and a nine. And oh, there it is. And there your arrow. And now, boom, you're done. See you guys later.